Indiana University's men's team is in town now getting ready to play the Fort Wayne Mastodons. And that's bringing a whole lot of people to the Summit City. News Channel 15, Sarah Schaefer has more on the impact of a game against a Big Ten team like IU. The IU Fort Wayne Mastodons game is expected to be the biggest basketball event in the history of the Coliseum. And that can only mean good news for the city. Mastodon fans are ready to see the big face-off against the Indiana Hoosiers. It's great. It's good for the city. Everybody, um, everybody's going to it. Having everyone come to Fort Wayne, you know, there's obviously IU has a pretty big following. So getting all their fans up here to Fort Wayne and kind of seeing how cool of a place Fort Wayne is will be good. Fort Wayne plays IU tomorrow night at the Coliseum. It's the first time the team has been back since Bob Knight hosted scrimmages there. Those games drew some of the largest crowds in history, along with an NBA game in the 60s and a postseason NIT game when St. Louis and Notre Dame played in 2004. This is even bigger. It will be the biggest basketball event ever. And, and you, you think of the history here. I mean, the Coliseum's got a great history. Of course, that means hundreds, possibly thousands of people coming to Fort Wayne. Huge economic impact. I don't have an exact number, but we know that 7,000 people, tickets are coming from, uh, from IU Bloomington. Those people could be staying in hotels, visiting restaurants, and more. It's, it's a multiplier effect. They'll buy gas. Uh, they'll be stopping at, uh, at the mall and all of that. And uh, what economic impact, what that really means is jobs for our friends and neighbors. It's been called a historic game and it'll likely have a long lasting impact. We just couldn't be happier and the best news, it's sold out. The game starts at 9 but you're asked to come early if you are coming because it's going to be a busy night for the Coliseum and Fort Wayne. Reporting from the War Memorial Coliseum, Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.